New Year, time for a new studio. I should clarify, that is not the rule. I don't change studios every 12 months. Although anyone who's watched this channel for a while can vouch, I've gone through quite a few changes in my time. No, I'm going to redecorate this room because, well, I moved in about 18 months ago. And when I first moved in, it was a completely empty room. And over that time, it's developed into a maelstrom of shite that, well, just needs reorganizing. So let me give you a quick tour of the crap hole as it is now. And then I'll show you all the changes that I make. So over in the corner is the computer desk that is just in the alcove out of the way. Um, when I first moved in, I literally only had this desk as the centerpiece of the room. This was where I do all my reviews and is where Rusty would normally sit if I was standing in front of the desk. I had the Godox SL60W as my key light, which was on this side, and then I had a little blue LED light panel shining on the wall, and that was pretty much it. The rest of the room was completely empty apart from that. Uh, I put the shelving unit in after I moved in with the RGB lights in place. They're going to probably be staying. The sound panels, when I first moved in, the room was echoey as fuck. The sound panels have helped dense that quite a lot. That shelving unit has recently come in, basically because there was a shelving unit going spare in the house and I decided it was extra storage. The microphone stands a recent new addition. When I first moved in, everything was on a lapel mic and then I switched over to this. The Wii Light Ninja 300 in the back there is a, a rim light. Again, relatively new addition, wasn't there when I first moved in. Neither were the pair of GVM 560s that are in the back either. One with the blue filter on to give the blue cast on the wall and the other one using the barn doors to make the coloured lines. And so over time, not only have I just got all this crap that's taken up the floor, but I've got more light stands as well. What was two light stands when I first moved in is now three, six light stands. There's just no room. <laughs> Honestly, I've just got absolutely no space back there at all. And there is the main reason really why I'm making all these changes. Him. So really, it's his fault I'm having to make all these changes. At least that's what I'm telling myself. But I'm not gonna bore you with some slow ass cinematic montage of me painting walls and whatever else. Let me just do a quick spin around and magically show you the new studio. Welcome to the new studio. A little different, isn't it? Let me talk you through the changes. Main one, most apparent, is the wall. Gone is the brick effect, because I thought it was a little distracting, and it's now painted a solid blue, because I kind of figured I'm lighting it up blue anyway. It was a gray wall that I then put a blue filter on the light to make it shine blue. But it then made it harder to light, because obviously you're filtering out a load of the, the color spectrum. So I decided, well, if I'm having the wall blue anyway, I might as well have the wall blue. So it's painted blue. The AS560 is still back there now lighting up just the plain wall with a white light rather than a white wall with a, a gray wall with a blue light. The biggest noticeable change though is the space on the floor. The room is just so much more open now. The, the main reason for that is I've ditched most of the light stands. Not ditched them all. The 560 is still on a light stand back there. My key light is still on a light stand. The other ones on this side though, the fill light and the rim light, have now been changed so that they are on brackets coming straight out of the wall rather than having a dedicated light stand. Working on the principle, the lights are always in that place anyway, so at least this way it opens up the floor space underneath the light. The computer has now been moved from the alcove over to this corner, so it's sort of in the back left corner of, of the shot. The alcove has now got the motorized desk and the Wii Light Ninja 400 is up there, again on another bracket. So the light can stay fixed directly above the table and obviously the table can then raise or lower towards the light depending on what suits best. I've got the controller unit for it up here. So I've got full access to the controls at arm's reach. And then with a couple of colored LED lights behind shining on the wall, it makes the perfect sort of station for dedicated product shots. But in moving this huge table into the corner, it has now opened up a load more space in the room 
for a chair has now become the centerpiece to the new room. And I like it. I like the look that it's now creating. It, I think it's cleaner. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. But I think changing the wall from brick to plain has definitely helped. Um, I'm not too thrilled about having to get rid of that yellow and white accent light. I did really like it. But obviously there's nowhere for it to go at the moment. I am tr I have played around a little bit to see if I can get it to work maybe up in this top right corner. Uh, top left. That, that corner. With maybe another bracket on the wall. But at the moment I'm still trying to decide as to whether it's worthwhile or not. But generally the room just feels so much nicer to be in now. I think before it was just so cluttered, it was almost cluttering my mind. So many light stands dotted around everywhere. The desk was dominating the center of the room. There was just so much crap in here. Plus, it was quite dark with that that wall was entirely gray. I've now painted that as well. So yeah, it was quite a dark room and quite a cluttered room and it just wasn't the most pleasant to be in so having decluttered having opened up some space having painted it a bit brighter now it just feels so much nicer to be in here and hopefully that can help spur me on a little bit more it's not entirely finished at the moment there are still a few changes that i need to make i've got a few areas of a few bits of clutter that i still need to clear out um, i'm probably going to put like a, a black curtain across here to hide most of the shit under there um and there's a, a few holes in the wall up there that need patching and filling and painting over because i tried to hang the key light right the hair light bracket this morning and i just couldn't drill the wall i don't know what the hell it hit whether it was just solid concrete or an rsj but the drill was not going through that but yes overall i'm i'm happy with the changes and hopefully you are as well there is one crucial aspect as to why all of this took place and it wasn't just to declutter the room. <clears throat> yes. Really, it's his fault I've had to make all these changes. Because he just wasn't a fan of the desk. And it was one of those, it was... I liked having the desk because I could stand and show everything on the table. It was useful having it there. But obviously... People then want Rusty in the shot, and I can't get Rusty in the shot if I'm standing up and he's on the floor, so I needed to bring him up to my height. The only place to put him was the desk, but he wasn't really too keen on being on the desk. I think he prefers being able to come and go as he pleases and move around, and he, can't, he couldn't really do that on the desk. He was much more comfortable when, we, when I used to shoot in the old house, when we, I was just on a sofa, because he could just climb up and sit next to me he could try and climb on me at times or he could just get down and spread out on the floor if he preferred and he just couldn't do that on the desk so we generally just end up curling up and falling asleep so hopefully now with this new look he can be a little bit more present in the videos which should please some people and hopefully the videos do look a bit better as well but let me know in the comments down below what you think do you like the changes or not ultimately there's not a lot I can really do if you don't like the changes I'm not painting it all back the way it was but let me know your thoughts anyway and if you like the look of this and you want to see more videos like it in the future then make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so and then hopefully we'll see you in the next video